Welcome to Mastering Solutions. In this problem, they want us to figure out how long does the faster runner have to wait for the slower runner until he crosses the finish line. We need to figure out the time for both of them. So we know that it is a five kilometer race, so they're both going to be running five kilometers. And we're going to be using the velocity equation, of course, which is V for velocity is equal to the change in the distance or delta x over the change in time. And so we need to find, as I said, what the time is for both of them. So let's start off with the faster runner and we'll call him R1. So for the faster runner, they went five kilometers, of course, km, and they ran at a speed of 14.5 kilometers per hour. So 14.5 kilometers per hour. You can put the units the way they wrote up here. I write it like this so you can easily see that we're dividing by a fraction, which obviously is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. When you do that, the kilometers will then cancel out and you'll be left with hours because we're trying to find the time. So five divided by 14.5 gives us point three, four, five. So we have 0 0.345 hours. We want to know how long the other runner has to wait and you could keep it in hours. I'm going to change it to minutes. I think it's easier. And I believe that mastering physics might want it in minutes, but we know that in one hour there are 60 minutes. So the hours cancel and we'll take our answer 0.345 and times it by 60 to give us minutes and we have 20.7 minutes. So the faster ran it in faster runner ran it in 20.7 minutes. And now let's do the second runner. So the slower runner ran the same five kilometers. He did it in 12 kilometers per hour. So that gives us five divided by 12. That gives us 0.42. So 0 0.42 hours, same thing. We'll multiply that by 60 minutes. So 0.42 times it by 60 gives us 25.2. So we'll round that to just 25 minutes. So now the difference between them to figure out how long they're waiting, we have 25 minutes for the slower runner minus the faster runner's time of 20.7 minutes gives us 25 minus 20.7, 20.7 minutes, and we have 4.3 minutes for how long the faster runner had to wait until the slower runner finished the race. 